Hello and welcome to another Beehive integration guide. In this video, I'm gonna cover how to connect your Beehive account to the popular no-code integration platform, Zapier. The first step is going to be to make sure that your Beehive account is at least on a grow plan, so grow, scale, or enterprise, because our API and no-code connections start on those plans. The next step you're gonna do is go to Zapier and click create a zap. When that loads, you're going to select the tool that you're connecting from. So in case I wanted to, for example, connect a Webflow website, when somebody submits a form, I would select Webflow, select all that. I'd have to sign in here. Let's see. Let's get this going. Excellent. So once I've authenticated my account, I can click continue. I'll choose the site that I want to connect with. We're going to use this test site called Burn the Boats and we're going to use the default email form and hit continue. So now you can test your trigger to make sure that you know there's a form submission. You can see that I have a test one there. We'll hit continue. The next step is gonna to be to connect to Beehive. So you're gonna use this one that says latest beta and click that. We're gonna choose, for this case, create a subscriber, but if you wanted to do one of these other actions in some sort of other workflow, you there's a whole bunch of options to choose from. In this case, we're going to select create a subscriber from that form submission. The next thing we're gonna do is come in here and select a Beehive account. We're gonna connect a new account like we would do if this was your profile. I'm actually gonna go back to my Beehive account. I'm going to switch over to the publication just so that all of this matches. I'm gonna to go to settings. I'm gonna to go to integrations and I'm actually gonna not use this quite yet. I'm gonna scroll down and make a new API key. We'll call this Video Zapier because it's for the video, but maybe you just call it Zapier. Click create a new key. Now this is going to be your API key. You can only see it once. Once you create it and exit out of the screen, you can't see it again. So you wanna copy it, keep it somewhere safe. We'll go back to this connected account screen, enter that API key and hit continue. Perfect. Now from this, we'll see that we now have the Beehive connection set up. Now we can set up our action. I'm gonna go back to Beehive and grab this API version two publication ID. I'm gonna take that into Zapier and I'm gonna drop it right here. And now I can enter the rest of the information. So I can say, we're gonna say the email goes here. We want to reactivate users if they may be deleted and they resubmit their information. We're going to say yes, send them the welcome email. We're going to say this is from Webflow. Actually, if my source, if my form has a source, it doesn't. So I can just say Webflow, but if your, your form is capturing the source dynamically, you can do that. Otherwise, we can just put a Webflow as an example here. Organic, just as an example of what that might be. If you're just, if you're hard coding these, you probably don't want to put a campaign in. You could put a referring site kind of where, where the form lives. So now we get to any custom fields you have. So say you're capturing first name as a custom field. So you can say, hi, Johnny. Under value, if you're collecting a first name from your form field, you would select that. And then optionally, you can choose to delete any stored fields, like if there's any existing data to overwrite it. By default, it's not going to do that. So if we already have data, it's not going to overwrite. Anyway. These are the basic steps to connecting this action. So if I hit continue, we can then test the action. Oh, and it's missing because the email is missing because there's no email in there. Let's see what has it. I'm sorry, I chose the wrong one. This is the email form because you can see the test data has the email. And so we're gonna go back here and hit continue. All right, now it's gonna work. So I hit test action. We now have this email flowing from here into here. We've created a successful uh, user. And if I go into the account on this side, you can see that we now have one more user here. If I go to my audience, subscribers, and this is the one we just added. This user was also added a while ago, but it came in through the API. And that's what shows up when you go through here. It's not going to overwrite the source medium because I did this the other day and it was set to direct none. But if you set those source and medium fields, they will come through and be added. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for your time and let us know what you think in the comments below. Have a great day.